<laughs> Rachel Bird and George Riley alongside me from BBC Five Live Brexford. Rachel, um, not such an early start for you this no, morning, is it? I'm lying. It's been lovely. I don't think I woke up till nearly seven o'clock this morning. It's a dream. Are you a runner? Not really. I force myself just to try and kind of keep the body going, but I'm not someone who naturally enjoys these things. Although I have to say, having done this before, it is the most magical occasion, as you know. The atmosphere, the energy that you get from the people around here, it's just in that kind of surge of goodwill. It's, it's really lovely to experience. George, you're a little bit more sporty. I've got high expectations for you. Well, I'm competitive, but I'm also a little... What are you laughing at? I'm also a little bit unfit. Uh, it's been quite a quite a long summer uh, involved in sport, as you'll know yourself, Jonathan. So I've got fingers crossed that the body and mind kind of correlate a, a little bit today and get synchronised. But as Ray says, it's just all about the occasion. It's so much fun, uh, and such you get such a warm glow just running around. I wouldn't have missed this for anything. So it's great to be here. Also about what you're running for. Just tell me what it is. Uh, I'm running for my mate's uh, charity, which is the, the Steve Prescott Foundation. Steve was told six years ago he'd have months to live. Since then, he's been going strong and raising a lot of money for two charities, uh, the Christie Hospital, which has supported him, and also the Rugby Football League uh, Benevolent Fund, the tri assist who look after people like Steve uh, after they finish playing. Uh, so I'm trying to raise a bit of cash for them today. Rachel? I'm running for the Motor Neuron Disease Association. I know a number of people who've been affected by the disease, and in particular, uh, one of the mums at my kids' school at the moment, and I'm thinking of her all the way round, and she's brilliant, and, um, yeah, anything we can do to help, and acknowledge that in some way. Well, good luck, and in particular because you're a bit poorly, aren't you? Well, I, I do have a slightly dodgy knee, and I've... Sure, <laughs> that's just for sure. <laughs> that, that is... Decide which knee to pull that off. <laughs> that's all my own work, that is. So, it might just see me through. Well, look, you be nice to her, George, OK, and yeah. help her round. I'll see you at the end. <laughs> Several hours before me. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to our five live colleagues. Now, it really has been a glorious summer of sport. It's